So did you guys know that within Power World, there were four legendary powers, powers actually classed as a legendary variant. Today guys, in this complete guide, I'll show you the location of each and give you tips and tricks on how you can actually catch these legendary super OP powers. But before we go any further guys, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be in with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on and winners will be announced at the end of this week. Good luck everybody. Okay, so there are four super rare, ultra legendary powers in this game, actually considered legendary. This isn't something I've just made up. And you can see these on screen now. I've actually went out last night. It took me about four hours to tame and catch each and every one of them. And these are those legendary powers. We have the Jet Dragon, which is an ultra incredible, super fast, flying mount dragon who just looks unreal then guys you have thrust stallion which again is just like some amazing looking mythical horse beast type thing which you wouldn't want to mess with but pretty cool and then we have two powers that are actually found in the same location we have the necromus which is a dark type looking amazing and we have paladius which is a neutral type which looks even better people oh yes these are absolutely incredible you don't want to miss these now these are are found in specific locations on the map they are all level 50s you will have to come prepared but let's get into it guys and firstly we'll start with jet dragon which is just unreal so jet dragon this dragon like flying mount is probably the best pal in this game consider that by many anyway so this thing once you capture it becomes a mount a flowable mount we can actually shoot missiles off its back and yeah, it's unbelievably fast, people. Unbelievably fast. Fastest in the game without a shadow of a doubt. So upon you coming to this specific area, which you can see on screen now, guys, this is where he's located. You will see him, and he is such a hard time. He's super fast. He's super powerful. So you need to come up here, stacked up. It spawns in this one part of the map only and again it is a level 50 and he hits super hard it will also sponge a lot of damage and will require you to be kind of patient now the area is also hot so bear in mind you will need that heat resistant armor it's a must up here also nothing short of legendary spheres will be good enough to catch this dude unless luck is truly on your side i can't tell you how many times i wasted spheres on this dude legendaries and i just could not catch him what i will also say guys is when it comes to trying to catch this dude stay away from the sides of the cliff because for me he fell off a couple of times and died also people upon you getting him to a really low health it seems as though unless it's a bug you only have so many attempts in capturing him and then he will just fall dead on the floor this happened to me a couple of times too so yeah just bear that in mind it might be a bug hopefully it's a bug and it don't happen to you but it was definitely happening to me and truly pissing me off also keep in mind that Jet Dragon is a dragon type, so bringing powers of the ice element will be best as the dragon type powers in the game are weak against ice element powers. So anything you have of a high level that's ice element, bring that dude up here to fight this dude for you. Also guys, you can use rifles at a range, this may help your case. There's plenty of things to mount on top of, like odd rocks and things, where a lot of his attacks won't actually be able to get you. So if your power's on the floor fighting him, you can be up top with that one-shot rifle like I love uh, and try and take his damage down this way. But again, be warned, he's one spongy-ass mofo. But yeah, for Jet Dragon and every other legendary on this list, you need to be stacked up. You need to be more or less around that 45 plus to 50 level and you need decent powers too with the best of attacks. Now, I won't say there is a specific requirement to get in this dude. I mean, yes, you need to be a high level. Yes, you need to have great powers. But in regards to being stacked out in one particular way, that's definitely not the case. That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to move on to Frostalian, guys. Now, this awesome looking mythical horse type beast is like all the other legendaries that we're going to cover today is a level 50. But this one is amazing, too. Now, this one is located top left of the map, as you can see right here on the screen. The area is super cold, so you will need that cold resistant armor with you. Otherwise, you're just going to freeze to death. Again, if you plan on catching this thing, legendary spheres will definitely help you in that regard. But I think I may have caught this guy. 
with an ultra ball instead of a legendary i can't really remember but you've seen that footage on screen now so this power also hits very very hard and will sponge a lot of damage so you will have to be patient trying to catch this one now frost Dalian is weak against fire element powers so also bear that in mind fire type powers may be the difference in you catching this thing or not also people if you don't bring a mounted fire pal and you plan on just releasing your power to fire team while you attack from a different angle there are many obstacles you can climb on and hide behind while your power gets to work here making this in my opinion probably the easiest legendary on this list to catch but yet frost alien a great looking mythical beast a legendary pal that you don't want to miss out on so do what you gotta do guys and come and catch this thing so the final two legendary powers are actually at the same location they're called necromus who is a dark type and then we have palladius who is a neutral type but both are ground mounted so they will not actually fly around so it makes it a little easier in that regard but they are found in the desert region area seen on screen now uh, this area is extra hot so again coming up here you will need that heat resistant armor as well as well as pals who have your back now what i will say is you clearly know you need to be prepared to get these dudes but because they both fight you at the same time i'd actually recommend guys you coming up here towards that night time because when it comes night time one of these actually falls asleep meaning you can fight one at a time if you come in the daytime odds are unless you can separate them you'll be fighting them both at the same time which makes catching them a little harder but if you come up at night time guys and you plan on doing this make sure you also bring that cold resistant armor too because it gets really cold up here also so remember so you probably will be skipping in and out of that armor just to match the day and night cycle but if you can separate them that's probably the best way of doing it fighting them both at the same time is so difficult i mean they ain't as spongy and they don't hit as hard as the frost alien and the jet dragon but considering there's two here at the same time it kind of equals out so yes come up at night um one of them will fall asleep you can probably then just take one down to a low health and capture it then when the other wakes up do what you gotta do there so the powers himself, Necrom must be in a dark type power. He's weak against dragon type powers. So that could really help you here. Also, Paladius is weak against dark type powers. So again, that also helps you out. Now, I don't believe there's a dark dragon type in this game. If there is, let us know down below to help other people out. But hey, you can bring five powers anyway. Just make sure you bring a dark type and a dragon type if you have them in your possession. Now, coming up here with the intention of catching both is a goal you'll have fun trying to achieve. Trust me, it's exactly what I did. And it wasn't the easiest. It was a challenge I actually enjoyed. So yes, people, do what you got to do and come and grab these final two legendary pals. Also, people, do not forget that the pals I have covered today will respawn like after a day cycle in-game. So if you miss out on them the first time, let's say you accidentally kill one of them or kill both of them or they take you out, you can keep trying to capture these. There's no limit on how much they will respawn. So bear that in mind, guys. But yes, there we have it for amazing OP pal legendary locations. Come and get these things people i have got a funny feeling in a future update maybe they will make these a little more difficult i think at current time uh you can stack up quite easily early on i say early on you ain't getting these unless you're like a level 40 plus but you can stack yourself up fairly easy uh probably easier than they want so yeah there may be a buff coming to these soon so yeah look out for that so get these while you can guys but there we have it guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one